Oh, lesson 4.4, 4, you guys. We are trucking along. Now, if I were to ask people to describe you in two words, what do you think they would say? This week, we are looking at what two words described Paul. What were the two most defining characteristics about him? Do you guys have any ideas what they would be? I would say integrity and determination. Paul had integrity and he was determined. Paul was so determined to be faithful to God and transparent to the elders of the church who supported him. He had integrity in his ministry, reporting back to those who supported him when he had the opportunity to keep his supporters in the know with what he was doing and how things were going. When rumors started to circulate about Paul, Paul wanted to be certain to clear the air so that there would be no doubt in the church leaders' minds what he was doing. So what did Paul do when all this like drama was shaken up? Do you think he blew up his Instagram stories and went live defending himself, calling out all the haters and putting other people down? No. He sat down. He sat down with those people that had questions, and he told them his story, and he gave all the details. Paul believed in accountability, and he knew it was important to be accountable to his fellow believers for his actions, especially the church that had sent him out in the beginning. So not only did he give a complete report, but he also listened to and submitted to their advice so that further accusations couldn't be made against him about being all about himself or just pushing his own agenda. Paul's humility and accountability helped him main tr maintain trust with the believers who supported him. Now, accountability is not a bad word. It's not a bad thing. Biblical accountability leads to wise living, which is a combination of knowledge of God through his word and the experience of living that out to the best of one's ability. I want to challenge you guys to find people who will help keep you accountable. People that will encourage you to live right and live for the glory of God. And I pray that you would be bold to speak that kind of love and truth into the lives of those people that you know. Proverbs 27, 17 proclaims, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. This simple statement is a reminder that we need others in order to grow. And in order to grow, we need friendship and accountability. All right, you guys, you have a blessed week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.